So as you can see on the screen, I ordered what I, I thought I ordered a uh, SP32 ROM, P32U, but unfortunately it arrived at ESP32U. It's more or less the same thing, but let's say this is a Chinese version. It's more like a dev kit for than a room edition. So it's not applicable or it what I wanted to, to use it on. So I thought what other project can I use it in? So I saw in the last few weeks or even months that more and more videos with Bluetooth jammers appear on Instagram, which also uh, they are capable of uh, jamming Wi-Fi networks also only those with 2.4 gigahertz frequency using the nrf24 module so i thought why not let's give it a try so this is the github page that i, I found it's from mnsta I, I i hope i'm not uh, spelling the name so it's a cute little device i don't think it will be really powerful because well NRF24 doesn't have very large frequency. I think you can add an amplifier to it, but I'm not 100% sure. So I was checking the GitHub page. Doesn't seem to be really complex to do. And I had a little time. It also has assembling, demonstration, flashing process, everything. If you want to follow on, on TikTok, I, I will paste the GitHub page on the description of this video. So it's capable of operating on the next channels. The Bluetooth, which is from 2402 until 2480. This is, and, and then we have BLE which is Bluetooth Low Energy. The main difference in order for you to understand, but maybe you, you already know this, the difference between those two is that Bluetooth is the one which is widely used, like in everything, wireless keyboards, mouses, headsets, Bluetooth speakers, everything that you can think of that needs a constant connection in order to transmit some data like it's a, a bluetooth speaker let's say it will constantly be connected to a phone in order to play the music that the phone is sending to the to the device when it comes to bluetooth low energy it has applicability only on mo mostly i think their medical devices like um, heart rate monitors oxygen monitors smart watches and, and stuff like this and and also i think some um public transportation applications but most of them so it's applicable on devices which should have a low energy consumption wi-fi you already know it's only for uh, 2.4 and uh, remote control drones also with the same, same frequency so it's only for the ones which you can find in Walmart or, or, or such. So this is the order because you can change the channels by pressing the bot button so it will start with Bluetooth then with one press it will switch to BLE, another switch to Wi-Fi and another one to remote control drones then with another another press it will go back to bluetooth so it will just toggle be, uh, between them as it says here you will need exactly the module that i, I bought it's a esp32u which is the dev module and two nrf24 uh, modules which are quite cheap i think they are two bucks or such you don't really need the capacitors i choose not to use them and a prototype PCB, it depends. I try to cut them straight, but I, I, I'm not successful every time. So mine is seven by five point something, five, 5 point two or something like that. For this one, I didn't use a display. Uh, the third antenna, well, I'm not very sure. I, I don't think I need it, so I, I didn't add it since 
the power comes the, the, the jamming power comes from the from the NRF modules. I added the LED and also the resistor for the LED. I don't need a battery. This is the thing I I try not to use batteries in my projects because firstly I'm not using everything every time, every day, and the batteries discharge. And when it comes to lithium batteries, if they are discard, discharged under a certain point, they will die. So you can't recharge them, you have to throw them away. So I am more than happy to, to use a USB cable in order to use it. Also, since it has a low power, I won't use it uh, very often. And keep in mind, this is just for research purposes but since it has i don't know two meters three meters range you can use it only inside the house um m3 nuts and screws well mm, yes and no they're too big for this project i just redesigned the case to use m2 screws and that's it it, it works great for me brushing the firmware this is interesting because with this flasher you also can test if everything is okay with, with your device and I, I will show you in just one second this is the link for it or you can go with the, the blue flasher the exc version i'm not sure why i mean online works great for it. or you can take the beam files and flash them <coughs> in a more traditional way Here's the pinout, so this is the, the first NIF module. I, I didn't include the capacitor, so it's just 3.3 ground and the other ones for the second one is, is the same. Everything is pretty clear until now. I, I will uh, bring now also a, a short recording with my personal one, which as you can see, I, I'm pretty messy with soldering and I didn't have thinner wires. I don't have any, um, I think it's called emailed wire or something like that. It's just a thin copper wire with a thin protective uh, sheet of, of lacquer or, or something like that on top. And I added also the LED. It's just ground and one uh, one pin from from the module. I don't, uh, I didn't need the display, so I didn't add it. Battery the same. The schematics is not available, but basically this is the schematics. It's more than enough. So this is how it looks. Also, I mounted it in the case. I modified a little the case because my PCB was not as it should be, but everything turned out great. So I'm very happy with this little project. And let's see. So I will turn on my, my phone camera real quick. And this is the final version is almost the same as on GitHub. It has the buttons, the LED. It says here Python is squirrel, it's not very readable, but yeah, I, I think you can see it. It, it. It's great, it's very lightweight and it has port also. So uh, let's go to the Flash website. Oh, I just. <laughs> And on the Flash website, let me just connect first the micro USB. And on the Flash website, you have to choose generic and connect. But let me connect the device first. Okay, so you can see the LED, so it's connected. I'll press connect. I'll choose COM6 connecting. And you have an error because you have to keep the both button press while you're connecting. Failed. Let me try again. Something is wrong. Generic. 
ah, you have to select here combo channel and then connect without clicking the bot button. So you can install it here, but for me it's already installed. I will choose log console reset device and you can see both of the modules are success of the success message. If you have a fail here, that means one of the, the modules is not connected as it should or um, I just disconnected now or you don't have the, the pins connected as they should. So maybe something is not soldered. Maybe you have a loose wire. You have to check because first both of my modules were not uh, both showed failed statuses. Now both are successful. So you have to, to be careful with the, um, with the soldering. Honestly, this is my third case. Uh, it's not very well made because I, I had to to do this uh, channels for the for the screws a little bigger but I already printed three times I didn't want to, to print it four times so that's why you will see some super glue in the corners apologies for that I mean this is just a quick and fun project to have it's not something that I will use as I said so let's see you can see my screen in the same time and I will attach the antennas and I will power it and we can see how I, I don't have anything using Bluetooth or uh, low energy Bluetooth so I will just test it on my Wi-Fi so the order is Bluetooth, Bluetooth low energy, Wi-Fi and remote control so let's plug it in it's plugged in now. Now it started with Bluetooth. Now it's BLE. And now it's Wi-Fi. So let's check the Wi-Fi on my screen. We see the LED indicator which is working. And nothing really happens. Let me refresh the page. Yeah, maybe this is not Wi-Fi. Let me press again. This should be RC. Oh no, this is the Wi-Fi. Or not? Yes. Yeah, my Wi-Fi starts to drop. So this is the Wi-Fi. So check the LED. It's one, two, three stops. One, two. So three fast uh, beeps and one long beep. So this should be Wi-Fi changing this is just one long beep so this should be the first one no let's see the second one which is two and this is the wi-fi the third one No, it's one, two, three, one, two, three. So now this is BLE. And again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, this is Wi Fi. Let me refresh this page. And it's not refreshing. Yeah, okay. So we need to adjust a little <laughs> the order. But basically, if you have one, two, three, four, then it means this is the Wi Fi. So, this is one, which I think it is Bluetooth. Okay, let me refresh the page. One should be Bluetooth. Page is not really refreshing.
or one, it's for all of them. Does it work this way? I'm not even sure. What it says here, I don't have internet. <laughs> Funny little device. So... Maybe one is for all of them. Okay, second. One, two, one, two, one, two. And we have internet again, because this is Bluetooth. One, two, three, should be BLE. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. This is Wi Fi. Yes, my connection is not loading anymore. So, four is Wi Fi, and one, I think it's all of them. It's loading super, super slow. But I can still see the active connection. So if I'm switching to one, this should be all of them. Wi Fi and all. It doesn't make sense both one and four to be only Wi-Fi. So let me check on my phone. I don't have Wi-Fi, but what about Bluetooth? No, Bluetooth is not working also. So one is for all of them, I guess. No? Yes, it's not refreshing anymore. Yeah, and the Bluetooth doesn't work also. Okay, nice. Okay, let me just stop it. It was a good idea to add to add the power button to it, but well, I don't have it. So I'm wondering how much uh, range it really has, but I will do I will do a test later. Okay, it works. It's kind of fun. Oh, this is some super glue, so I have to change the case. It's horrible. But oh well. So it works, and. It's kind of portable, it's, it's super light, as you can imagine, it has only the PCB and the modules inside. I need to, to try with some amplifiers, but for now it works. Okay, so this is, I think, all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video, it's not my idea. I don't have anything uh, in relation with this development. I will add all the links in the description. I think I will start adding my my name tag, my YouTube name tag on all my, my future projects. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you are not yet a subscriber. And now I just opened the memberships to the channel and I just have the first member, which is really cool. I was not sure if this is possible or not. So getting there and almost 4,000 hours, watch hours now on the channel, which is huge. So I'm almost monetized. I just need 400 more hours. I think I have 3,600. So please, if you don't mind, take a look on my older videos, play a, a playlist, just open it, let it run for a couple of hours. It, it does a lot for me. So, thank you again. Hope you've enjoyed and see you in the next one. Cheers.